Hello Internet, and welcome to um, game one of my round two game in the Nugget Bridge Invitational against the three-time world champion, you know, probably the best player to ever play Pokemon, really, Ray Rizzo. Um, I was happy to have won my first game, um, and I was looking forward to this. I've never played Ray before, so I was very interested to see how it would go, because since Nationals, I could see he was using his Nationals team, this this Rain team with Politoed and Ludicolo, and these four that we can see here. Everyone has been using them on the simulators, so we've had a lot of practice against them. So, <laughs> so I did feel quite comfortable, reasonably comfortable, but I didn't know what level of prediction he would make, I didn't know how he would play, but I didn't want to um, overthink things, I didn't want to get caught in the headlights, all the rest of it, I didn't want to make any stupid moves, so I just wanted to play my own game and see how it went. And, um, well, this is how it went, let's have a look. Um, so here's the challenge, and he leads with his Zapdos and Aegislash, as I lead with my my favourite pair here, my Azumarill and my Raichu. So, normally the first thing that I do with Raichu is fake something out, use fake out on them, but um, this Zapdos, um, I'm presuming it's got Swagger, if it is the same as his Nationals one, um, so it could be potentially quite annoying, but outside of Swagger, it can't really do anything, because I've got my Lightning Rod here, on my Raichu, so, I can't fake out his Aegis Slash, that's the only thing that's really threatening me, so I just want to get some damage on it. I'm fairly sure that my Azumarill can get a Belly Drum off here. Um, here's the Swagger though, we can see the Swagger introducing uh, some, uh, some dice rolling into the game, so this can get very interesting, but his Aegis Slash is faster than my Azumarill here, and actually turns out to have a Life Orb which makes it actually very dangerous. Um, it does a lot of damage to my Azumarill here, um, but I still have enough with the Citrus Berry to get a Belly Drum off, which puts me at quite a good advantage, really. I'm in a good situation here. I've <laughs> got a plus six Azumarill. I can one-shot either of these things with a with an Echo Jet, and so he's expecting me probably to uh, Echo Jet his Raichu, or, or maybe anyway, maybe he's just withdrawing it because it can't do anything, um, other than swaggering things. He could have used Swagger on my Azumarill there, because um, basically my attack can't get any higher, you're just confusing me, and I can knock myself out. But I'm playing this very safe, I'm protecting my Azumarill, and my Raichu, I'm rolling the dice here, I am using Thunderbolt, as you can see. I'm using Thunderbolt on his Aegis Lash. Um, because it is in blade form, it doesn't have very good defences, and I actually knock it out. I know that if he does use King Shield there, then I am going to be pressuring him with Encore the next turn as well. So, that's providing I don't hit myself in confusion. So, I was quite relieved to not hit myself there. So, I'm sitting here with a plus 5 now, a plus 5 Azumarill. He's got his Moile out and his Hydreigon. Um, my Azumarill is at very low health though, so really the only thing I want to be doing with it is Aqua Jetting. So I was actually expecting his Moile to protect here. It's not going to appreciate a plus 5 Aqua Jet. So I actually double target his Hydreigon instead. I use Aqua Jet and I use my um, Hidden Power Ice on it. He uses Sucker Punch on my... Um, Azumarill, as my Raichu snaps out of confusion there, um, he must have a little bit of speed investment in his Moile, because Moile and Azumarill have got the same base speed, so he was expecting to be faster, but my Azumarill must just have a little bit more speed invested into it, which is quite important because it avoided that sucker punch there. So, because um, I am faster, I get to bring this Hydreigon down to very low health, but he does knock my Azumarill out with a Dark Pulse. Um, as expected really, as he needed to do, but now I'm in a good position actually because he did use Sucker Punch on that last turn, my Raichu is faster than his Hydreigon, I can basically shut this Moile down, um, I'm not going to make any stupid predictions here, I'm going to play very safe, going to make the sensible move and just Encore, try and Encore his Moile into Sucker Punch because this Sucker Punch is not threatening Tyranitar at all which means that basically I can Mega Evolve as I have done here and I can get my Dragon Dance up 
because Dark Bolts is not going to be doing anything to Tyranitar at all. My Raichu does actually survive this Dark Bolt, which is very nice, which means that um, I'm basically blocking this uh, Zapdos from doing anything useful at all, apart from swaggering. But I've got a plus, two tyr a plus one Tyranitar now. I am fairly confident that I've actually got this game. So uh, let's see how things play out. There's the, the sandstorm damage, um, and <laughs> yes, let's let's uh, rewind because um, before this turn we saw Raichu doesn't actually take any damage from the sandstorm, which is very important. We'll see in the next game and later on in the tournament how important this specific item is on Raichu as well. But the rock slide actually misses. It misses both of these. It would probably have knocked both of them out, definitely with this Thunderbolt. Um, which allows him to get this Dark Pulse off. It knocks out uh, my Raichu and it actually allows him to get the Swagger off on my Tyranitar. So, oh no, I am. My head is in my hands. Um, the game is in in the hands of the dice again really because I've got a plus three attack Tyranata now but I am confused so he has still got a very happy mile left and if my Tyranata hits itself in confusion then I've lost the game basically I've lost the game so I just need to cross my fingers um, I've got to go for a flare blitz there's nothing else Talonflame can do really um, luckily Tyranata does not hit himself which I am very happy with. A plus three crunch, I'm not messing around with, with rock slide misses or anything. A plus three crunch will knock out this Zapdos. And um, as we can see with the sucker punch, I'm going for a flare blitz. So that knocks out the more Critical hit, pretty sure that didn't matter. Um, I'm very happy. I've won the first game. Talent plan goes down, it's done, it. it's done its job. Um, I won the first game. And so um, I'm happy. The second game coming up, I know he'll have to change things around. I know he will um, um, adapt in some way. He is um, obviously the three-time world champion, so um, in no way am I sort of getting my uh, uh, my hopes up just yet. Um, although I am a little bit more hopeful after this. So let's let's just wait. Let's have a look in this second video and see how the second game goes against him.